Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you like Disney pins, you are probably really going to like today's video because I have in my hands a box full of Disney pins to open for you today. This magical little mystery box is from a new company called Magic Launch Bay, and they are based out of Hong Kong, and they basically sell mystery boxes, mystery shipments of authentic Disney pins that people can either add to their collection or trade with other Disney pin collectors. One of the questions I get asked most often from beginning pin collectors is how to start building up your stash of traders or kind of how to build your collection from scratch and um, companies like this one are kind of a great way to sort of dig into the hobby and get some keepers and some traders basically this company was started by a group of longtime Disney pin collectors and traders based in Hong Kong and they have all kinds of pins from open edition pins to hidden Mickey pins to mystery pins to limited edition to like very limited edition pins from all over the world and they have started a new service where you can order like a mystery box full of traders and you might want to keep some too. So they reached out to me not long ago and asked if they could send me a sampling of their pin delivery services to share and review with you on this channel. I'm so excited. I think there's kind of a lot of pins inside of this box and I'm so curious to see which pins they sent. So I'm going to unbox these for you today today. They did give me a coupon code. I think it's welcome kitty if you want to save 10% off of an order from their website. And I'll link that and put everything down below. But for now, I'm just going to jump into this big box of pins. By the way, look at how cute their packaging is. It's pink with a rocket. Love a pink rocket. That's all I'm gonna say about that. So I'm gonna open this up. Ooh, and I'm seeing lots of little um, confettis. Also a little postcard. It's got Mickey Mouse on it with a note. It says, Dear Becca, it is our pleasure to have your help and let more Disney lovers know about us. We hope you enjoy our box. We are glad to offer a 10% discount to your subscribers by entering the promo code WELCOMEKITTY. Most of our orders enjoy free shipping. Yeah, shipping is free to like pretty much anywhere in the world, so that's amazing. And it says, thank you again for your time and your opinions from Magic Launch Bay. So I'm really excited. I think they sent me um, kind of one of each of their different box offerings and I'm going to share them with you. I should say that this is not a subscription service. It's a one-time purchase. So it's not like a recurring thing. Just anytime you want to get some new pins in your collection, you can go to their website and place an order. Okay, so I am seeing several different pin packs in here and I think each one is one of their different like box levels. So I'm going to start at the least expensive and go to the most expensive because that seems like a a logical way to do things. So the first box option is called the cadet option. It's three open edition pins, so not limited edition, open edition pins for $16.99. Remember that's free shipping as well. And um, I'm looking at these three pins and I'm already pretty excited about them. Let's take a look and see what we got for the cadet. Okay, so this first one I am seeing is a princess themed pin. It's actually Tiana from Princess and the Frog. They have their own little, um, cute magic launch bay backer cards, but I'm going to take the pins off the backer cards so you can see um, a good close-up. I'm looking at the back of this pin and already I can tell that this is from Disneyland Paris. So for someone that does not have access to Disneyland Paris pins very often, I'm pretty dang excited that I'm getting an open edition pin from Paris versus one from the US. Like this is already pretty cool. So here is the first cadet pin. This is a Tiana from the Princess and the Frog pin. It's got some nice glittery elements to it. I love these little um, lotus flowers on it. And then on the back, you can see the Disneyland Paris logo. All of these pins are 100% guaranteed authentic Disney pins. So there's no scrappers, no fakes in these boxes. And that's a gorgeous pin. I really don't have hardly any Tiana pins, but I might be keeping this one because it's so pretty. Um, this next one I'm already super excited about. This is going to be a keeper for me for sure. Although I know several people um, who watch my channel who are going to flip when they see this. 
check it out. It's like a Valentine's y love letter ish pin. It features the uh, aliens or the little green men from Toy Story. I love these Toy Story guys. And it actually moves. There's a hinge element, so the flap to the envelope opens, and then there's a sliding element, and it says, you're the chosen one. What a cute little Valentine's Day pin. And it's actually like quite a detailed complex pin, especially for being an open edition pin. There's a quick peek at the back. I'm so far thrilled with this um, cadet packet so far. And now here is the third and final pin from the cadet package, the $16.99 package. And this one is actually from Tokyo Disney. It's a holiday pin. It's Minnie Mouse in a pink glittery stocking. Super, super super cute pin. You can see on the back it says Tokyo Disneyland. So we've got three different countries covered in um, one mystery box. So if I had paid for this for $16.99, I would have gotten three pins from all over the world. All of them are like total surprises to me. Nothing I previously owned or have ever even seen before. Like what a delightful surprise. And honestly, like I'm tempted to keep um, all of these. I'm definitely keeping this uh, little green men one, but this is like some awesome trading material as well. I'm pretty impressed. Let's move up to the next pricing tier now. This is called the Ace Box. And the Ace Box contains three open edition pins plus one limited edition pin. And here's my Ace packet. So let me just get close to my camera and show you all four pins in one shot. So I will get started with the open edition pins first. This one is from the Shanghai Disney Resort, so we're already starting with something international. And this is a first anniversary Shanghai Disney Resort pin featuring Buzz Lightyear. I've actually never seen this one before, although I've seen similar pins. It's got a little um, gemstone on it for the first anniversary, some nice glitter embellishments, and uh, who doesn't love Buzz Lightyear? light year. The second pin is absolutely adorable, and this is from the Hong Kong Disneyland Resort, and uh, it features Duffy and Shelly Mae. They are having a really cute, maybe like Valentine's Eve picnic. I love that the sandwich Duffy is holding is uh, in the shape of a Mickey. This is darling. This next pin I recognize because I am actually already the proud owner of this beautiful pin. This is a limited release pin from the United States. This came in the uh, Disney film strip um, mystery box and this was one of the more popular pins of the set it's obviously lady from lady and the tramp inside the uh, hat box really nice uh, high quality pin even though it's from a mystery box and it is limited release and finally, for our limited edition pin of this box, we are getting another pin that I've never seen before. This is actually an Animal Kingdom pin, and it's commemorating five years of Disney pin trading. So this pin is old. This is actually from 2004, obviously from Animal Kingdom in Walt Disney World, so it's an American pin. There's kind of a cool pin-on-pin -pin design to it. You've got Simba holding the uh, Tree of Life, which is really cool. I've honestly never seen Seen this. It's limited edition of 1500 and I do have a collection of Animal Kingdom pins. I collect kind of unique and different Animal Kingdom pins. This definitely would fit that collection, so I will be holding on to this one. Okay, again, I'm pretty dang impressed. Definitely some good keepers and some good traders, and let's move on to the, uh, the next tier. The next price point is $39.99 for their fuel box, which contains 10 open edition pins. So that's 10 pins for about $40, including shipping. Um, definitely probably gonna be a good way to build up a, a collection of traders. I haven't looked at them yet, but let me grab them right now and I'm gonna get close to my camera and I'm just gonna show you all 10 in a row and we'll see what we get. Here it is, the uh, big thick fuel packet. Very exciting. Okay, here we go. Pin number one is this really Really cute Mickey Mouse. He's got some glitter embellishments on his jacket and I'm um, looking at the back. This pin is from Disneyland Paris. It's a very nice size so we're off to a good start. Pin number two is from the Shanghai Disney Resort and it is Donald Duck. He looks like he is dressed up as a pineapple. I've never seen this one but I really like this one. Pin number three is from Hong Kong Disneyland, and it is Rabbit from Winnie the Pooh, shaped as an Easter egg. He's got his little uh, rubberized rabbit ears that peek off the top. Pin number four is the Mary Poppins nesting doll mystery pin. This is from a mystery pin pouch that is available in the United States parks. 
Pin number five is one I've never seen before. This is obviously a Tinkerbell pin. It's from Hong Kong Disneyland. Um, I'm obsessed with this. This is a keeper for me. I'm gonna be putting this in my own personal collection, but it's from Hong Kong, probably from maybe like a, a mystery set or a booster pack, but it is beautiful. Pin number six is a Hidden Mickey pin. There's the Hidden Mickey pin right here. This is actually from the Hong Kong Disneyland Resort, and it features the Cheshire Cat's uh, Kitty Paw. I really like this. I'm not sure I've ever seen this pin before either, but it's super cute. Pin number seven is Elsa from Frozen. This might be a booster pack pin, I think from one of the emoji sets, but one of the kind of cool things I noticed about this one is if you can see right here by the uh, pin trading stamp, there's actually a little tiny stamp that says AP. That means artist proof, so that's kind of a special pin. I'm, I'm pretty stoked about that. I'm, I'm glad I looked at the back because I, I might not have noticed that. Pin number eight is this open edition rack pin. This is a Space Mountain pin. It's a pin on pin design featuring Stitch. This has been for sale in the United States parks. I think it might still be available. I think I might actually um, already own this or, or did own it at one point, but it's a very nice pin uh, nonetheless. The ninth pin is a pin that I do own. This is the Tigger luggage tag pin. I recognize this from the Hong Kong Disneyland luggage tag mystery pin tins. Um, I opened a few of these on my channel way back in the day when I first started doing mystery pin unboxings and I already have this Tigger so he'll be going into my trading pile but it is a very nice pin and, um, and pin set. And the 10th and final pin from my fuel pack might be the silliest one of the bunch and it also might be my favorite one of the bunch. This is Flash from Zootopia, dressed up as a head of lettuce. This is one of the Hong Kong Disneyland game pins. I think you could win these uh, as a prize in some of the games. I, I'm not sure what the games entail because I've never been there, but that's what I'm, I think this is from. I think it's a game pin. I'm a Zootopia collector. I actually don't have this pin, so I'm, I'm either gonna add this to my collection or pass it along to a friend of mine who I know uh, loves uh, Flash from Zootopia. Well, I have to give that one like a big wow. That was $40 for 10 pins and all of the pins were pretty awesome. So uh, yep, still feeling pretty impressed. I think I've got two more packets left to open for you. The next price point is $42.99 for the Hong Kong edition box. So I think all of the pins come from Hong Kong Disneyland. Hong Kong pins are some of the most beautiful pins out there, period, in my opinion. So if you really wanted to get some unique and gorgeous traders, like this might be a good option, but this one includes five open edition pins and one limited edition pin, and all of them are from Hong Kong Disney. So here's my uh, Hong Kong pouch, and here they come. So again, I am starting off with the open editions first. This is a pin I've never seen before, but it's darling and very springy. It's um, Shelly May on a swing, and she is surrounded by um, a wreath of flowers. Really pretty pin. Honestly, never have seen this one before. Uh, I might be hanging on to this one for a while just because it's so unique. I, I don't think I've ever seen one like this before either, but really cool, obviously from Hong Kong, because this is the Hong Kong set. Next we have this very cute, goofy Mystic Manor pin. Mystic Manor is the equivalent of a Haunted Mansion there, so you can see the uh, the wallpaper behind him. I really like the quality of this pin. It's got kind of like this almost like three-dimensional looking feel to it. Really, really nice, and it says um, Mystic Point on the back. I like the dark metal um, backing. Just really, really pretty, uh, kind of nicely detailed, goofy pin. Now this one is awesome, and it's probably gonna be a keeper for me. This is a hidden Mickey pin from Hong Kong and it's actually the Mickey waffle. It's so cute. I have um I have the scrapper version of this pin which is also cute, but now that I have like the real authentic version, um, this one's going to take its place in my uh, in my collection of cute little Disney treat pins. I don't have like a, an actual collection of Disney treat pins, but like this is just too cool not to keep. And speaking of Disney treats pins, we have Anger from the uh, Hong Kong Disneyland Popcorn and Pretzels Mystery Pin Set. These pin boxes were really cute. I opened these a while back on my channel. Um, I did actually open this one. Uh, so this is the second time this pin has come into my possession, but it's Anger from Inside Out. He's on the uh, popcorn box. This pin set was really nicely detailed. So um, definitely another really, really nice trader. Here is the final open edition pin that I received in my Hong Kong set. Then I've got a limited edition one to show you after this one, but this one is actually a Hong Kong Disneyland 
Disneyland 10 year anniversary pin. Never seen any of these before. It's a hinge pin. I wonder who is inside. Oh, <laughs> it's Chip and Dale and they are partying it up for uh, the 10 year anniversary. There's actually like a nice little um, magnetic uh, closure element on this too. So this is a very nice open edition pin. Never saw this before. It's got two, uh, two pin posts on the back. Really cute. I probably won't keep this because I don't collect Chip and Dale, but I'm sure I can find a Chip and Dale collector that would like to trade with me for it. All right, are you ready to see which limited edition pin they sent me? I love this one. Oh my gosh, this is limited edition of 500 from Hong Kong. It's a big Hero 6 pin. It features Baymax, who is sleeping and dreaming of the superhero version of himself. This was a whole pin series. I actually have three other ones. I have an Aristocats one, a Peter Pan one, and a Zootopia one, and now I have the big Hero 6 one so even though I'm not a big Hero 6 collector I might hang on to this because now I have four pins from this awesome limited edition like dreaming pin series I love it uh, Ellie 500 not that easy to get a hold of these anymore so I think this was like an awesome uh, finale for the Hong Kong edition set I really like it magic launch bay you are impressing me this is super fun I have one more pin pouch to open so this is like their highest price point mystery box. Let me get the details. Okay, and this one is called the Pilot Box. It is $59.99, free shipping, and it includes one open edition pin and three limited edition pins. So obviously they value their limited edition pins at quite a higher price point than open edition pins, which does make sense because usually you can trade uh, for much higher value with LE pins than OE pins, but it kind of all depends on the, uh, the individual pins. So there's four pins in here. Let's see what they sent. This is so fun, by the way. Thank you, Magic Launch Bay, for uh, reaching out to me and letting me be your guinea pig because I'm just having like the time of my life over here. I hope you guys are having as much fun as I am watching this. This is super cool. Okay, let's take a look. Ooh, these are fun. Super fun. Okay, here they come. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the one open edition pin from this set, and it is a doozy. For being open edition, it is huge. It's like borderline like mini jumbo pin. It's really quite large. It's got two pin posts on the back and it is a Shanghai Disney Resort pin and it's from their Toy Story Land opening. Um, so it's got a bunch of Toy Story characters, Rex and Ham and Jesse and Buzz and Woody and one of the little green men and it says Toy Story Land and I'm not totally sure what this says, um, but it's really, really cool. It's a beautiful pin, and I love Toy Story Land pins. I, I do have a side collection of Toy Story Land pins, so I'll be putting this pin um, with that collection. I'm super impressed. I don't know if I've seen this pin before, but it's gorgeous, and the size is really nice. So even though there's only one open edition pin and the rest are LE, this is like as good as LE to me because the size and just quality is so pretty. And now I will move on to our three limited edition pins, beginning with this one. I've never seen this before. It is gorgeous. It's Sally from Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. And it's got this incredible stained glass element in the background. So it's pin on pin. And then this um, backing is, is all stained glass. I love stained glass on pins. It looks gorgeous. Um, according to the back of this one, it is... Um, Limited edition of 2000. I'm not sure what the story is behind this one. Um, I think it might be a slightly older pin, but uh, it's it's so, so pretty. I'm tempted to keep this, even though I'm not a nightmare collector, um, but I do know this would be an amazing trader because a lot of people do collect nightmare, and um, I don't know that this pin is is very common. It's it's really beautiful. I, I'm i kind of in love with it. This next pin's definitely gonna be a keeper for me, though. This is a limited edition of 1000 Disney Off auctions pin. It's obviously Snow White and Dopey. They've got a lot of hearts and there's a little banner on the bottom. It's kind of hard to read. It says Happy Valentine's Day. So it's an Ellie 1000 Valentine's Day pin. Since it's Disney auctions, I'm guessing it's a little bit older. Let me see if I can see the year. Mm, can't find the year, but since there's no Disney pin trading stamp on it, I'm guessing it's uh, probably pre the year of 2000. I'll have to uh, look it up on pin picks, but that is a really pretty pin. 
probably very hard to find. Very impressed by this. And last but not least, we are getting a pin trader's delight, a PTD pin. These are very low limited edition. This one is limited edition of just 300. It's from the Disney Studio Store in Hollywood. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is actually a boo from Aladdin when he is uh, turned into Prince Ali's elephant because he's got his little cap on. There's lots of Disney elephants, but I'm pretty sure this is actually a monkey <laughs> masquerading as an elephant and he's holding his little ice cream cone in his trunk. This is such a cute PTD. I'm not sure I've ever seen or noticed this one before either, but I love it. And again, super low edition size, LE300. Color me impressed. I'm just like tickled. I'm tickled by these pins. They're all so cool. What? That was such a fun unboxing and everything was so cool. And I think depending on like what kind of pins you're looking for, like what sort of pins you want to add to your collection and like what level of trading you want to do like online um, or with other people, probably not in the parks for most of these, but probably like online. Um, I think that there are a lot of really good values to be had in these Magic Launch Bay services. I, I'm going to admit that I think the 10 pins for $40 um, fuel box was maybe my favorite because there were pins from literally all over the world at such a, a low price. But there were also so many cool limited edition pins and like that was just super awesome. So I hope you had as much fun with that as I did. Uh, I will leave a link to Magic Launch Bay's website so you can kind of check out all the options again on your own. Again, the code for 10% off is Welcome Kitty. Welcome Kitty, like my YouTube name, K-I-T-T-E-E. -E. Welcome Kitty. And um, if you wanna check out their service, I'd highly recommend it. And just a reminder that it's not a subscription, it's more just like a, it's a one-time like refresher box or refresher shipment. So you're not like signed up for the long haul, you just order whatever you want whenever you want. I think that's awesome. If you need to refresh your traders or just like want to have a fun treat yourself surprise in the mail, pretty cool service. I love international pins and I love like how many Hong Kong pins entered my collection today. Like what a fun day in Pinlandia for me. <laughs> I'm such a dork. Okay, that about does it for this pin unboxing. Leave a comment down below. Let me know which pin was your favorite. It's really hard for me to pick a favorite, but um, definitely this uh, Valentine's Little Green Men one is up there. Definitely this big Shanghai Disney Toy Story Land one is up there. And oh my gosh, I'm really excited about this Big Hero 6 um, Baymax limited edition pin too. But there were so many cool ones. So leave a comment down below. Let me know which one you liked. Thank you again to the very kind folks at Magic Launch Bay for reaching out to me and sending me some previews of your, um, your boxes and your services. I'm definitely impressed. And thank you so much to everyone who has watched all the way to this point in the video. I'll be back really soon with more Disney pin videos and more Disney vlogs and more Disney other things related videos for you. Until then, I hope you're having a magical day and I will see you real soon. Bye guys!